for the three people that watched my first video, I am painting another one just for you guys. This time I am using a little bit of a better brush. The first one I had used was just some cheap like dollar brush, but I thought it worked pretty good. This time around I'm using a elegant Windsor and Newton brush. That was $17,999. That's right, you heard it here first. $179.99. And you can tell just how much better this one works. Totally worth the money. I mean, just look at the way that that paint comes right off the brush and sticks to the model. You know that paint's not going anywhere. Except for exactly where you want it. I'm also trying out a new application that I got on the App Store, believe it or not. This one is called Music Cam which provides the solution to the problem that I was having during the last painting video that I posted. Now the problem was, every time that I hit record, the music that I was playing would cut out. And all you would be able to hear is me breathing while I was painting. Which is not the funnest thing to listen to, because I breathe like a gorilla. Music Cam, however, allows me to continue playing things like Spotify or music that I have on my phone while recording, which is really nice because I don't have to sit here in silence for 30 minutes at a time. Which, by the way, is a little known fact. That's the average amount of time that it takes for any artist to paint a miniature. I also thought it would behoove me to put the paints that I'm using right behind the models that I'm painting. That way you guys can see, uh, you know, the various paints that I use, uh, the particular um, colors, you know, that I am applying to these models. Which would enable you to, you know, pretty much do exactly what I'm doing if you're trying to replicate the paint schemes and or techniques that I've been using. For this particular model, I'm letting the highlight that I had done previously, all right, with the airbrush, primed it in black, and then did a zenithal from the top down, giving it a lot of contrast just from the beginning. Now, to take full advantage of that, what you want to do is just really water down those paints quite a bit. That way when you apply it to the model, the translucentness of the paints allow those highlights to already come through. Well, you don't have to take a ton of time to go back and make your own highlights because they're already there. One thing that really stood out to me during the voiceover recording on this model was how drab the clothing was and how much of a difference it took or it made when I went back to highlight the facial features, the eyebrows, the skin, the beard. Uh, that really helps the model stand out to the naked eye because not everybody's going to be zoomed in on this thing with a magnifying glass. <laughs> 